Hey everybody, Ms. Dietrich here. We're taking a look at question number one. It says find the area and they give us this parallelogram. How do we know it's a parallelogram? For a couple reasons. Number one, we have opposite sides parallel and congruent. So this side is parallel to that side and this side is parallel and congruent to this side. So that makes it a parallelogram plus it's a quadrilateral. All right, so whenever we find the area of a parallelogram, we use this formula, air equals base times height. And what's tricky about this question, they give a lot of numbers intended to confuse you, but we're not gonna let that happen to us because we're just gonna remember that we have to find the two numbers that are perpendicular to each other and use those. So if we use this red number as being the base, we have to find a number that's perpendicular to it. So if you look at this, that's not perpendicular, right? That would form an acute angle. That number is not, that forms an acute angle. This number wouldn't be. But if we look at this number right here, this eight, if I slide this over, do you see how that still represents the height of the parallelogram? Sometimes they confuse you by putting the height on the outside of the parallelogram, but we're not gonna let that confuse us because that still forms that 90 degree angle. So the height would be eight and the base would be nine. Go ahead and substitute those numbers into the formula and finish up and you'll see that one of these answers will be correct.